Hey friends, welcome. Today's video is another Dollar Tree haul. Very random. It usually is pretty random. So these are some of the stuff that I found. Some are repurchases, but I think mainly are new little finds. So I just wanted to share them with you. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I have the Dollar Tree bags. Well, you can see one of them or two behind me. I have one right next to me, so I'm going to start with that. Um, the first very exciting thing that I got is a Slim Jim. I don't know. I used to hate, not hate, but be really grossed out by them. And probably a few years, um, I kind of started liking them. And so I get one occasionally because I do kind of feel like a dollar twenty-five for one is kind of expensive. But because I'm there and it's convenient, I just grab it. So I did that because I was kind of like craving it. Uh, and sometimes I do that and like some cheese, you know, just for a little snack. And so then I grabbed... This is, this is a repurchase. I don't know how many bags of these I've gotten over the years. Okay, tell me if you can relate. I have some leftover, right? From a, the previous purchase. I don't know how long ago that was. But I always have the quarter big ones left over. Like, I use up everything else and then I use a few of the quarters. Why? Why? I wish I could just use up all the quarter ones i mean let me know if this is like something you can relate to because everything that's left over are the little wraps for quarters and i don't have enough quarters um so you know when i see the quarters that my husband has i'm like i'll go ahead and take those and put them in a little wrap thing anyway yeah i just think it's hilarious that i always end up with like almost all of the quarter wrappers i only use probably at the most like four of them which is i guess not bad but of course i would like to use all of them um, yeah so i thought i was gonna say the amount of each wrap but it just says it has 36 count and they're just assorted so it doesn't say like okay there's 10 of like for pennies or nickels or whatever anyway got that because i do need one because i ran out of the pennies and the nickels and dimes so and then i found this right here it's as you can see a little frame and i just thought it was so cute it has like a the puzzle piece shape it is a four by six um I'm not sure what picture I want to put in here. I mean, I know it's going to be of my little one. I just don't know which one. Um, I already have several prints, um, but I don't know. I might change my mind. I know I can switch it, you know, out and stuff. But I just thought this was so cute. Um, and so I just, I had to grab it. I think they had another color and I cannot remember. I think it was like a black. I wish I, th I think, I think it was. Which I thought it was like kind of funny that I just saw black and then all of a sudden I see like a baby blue. And I'm like, okay, that's very like different color range. But that's all they had. They, they had the black and this blue one, at least in my Dollar Tree. And so, of course, I grabbed the blue one. So cute. I almost poked my eye. And then, oh, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh. I, I, I made the face because usually I give the toys pretty right away. Like, I try to hold them, but sometimes I just get too excited. And I end up giving the toys to my little one before hauling them. Um, and I totally forgot I purchased this. I just thought this was so cool to find at the Dollar Tree. He has one that I got for him on Amazon. And it's pretty cool. I At the beginning, he was like okay like i don't want this and then probably like a couple weeks later he was like all about it and he still likes it but anyway i found this and i thought it was really cool and it still has a little tab on the back to take off and so yeah as 
these buttons which i think it's cool like it has more than one button so that's awesome and it actually has like like a star like the star 67 like the star that what do you call that what is the actual name because next to it there's an actual star like like a like a star um and then just the regular one like the big one and then there's a square button and then there's like a it looks like a sun or something i don't even know if you can tell like they have little shapes except for this one um anyway i think that's cool that it has several buttons um so yeah i'm excited to give it to him there's that and then guys i got some batteries because we go through them like nobody's business with all his toys um some of them very few of them actually are rechargeable most of them are battery operated sorry my face is itchy um and yeah so a lot of the like trucks and stuff use these little ones and other little device like either like some of the trucks that he has or handheld like toys have these little thingies so i know they're gonna <laughs> i know they're not gonna last that long but um yeah just yeah to have so i got those guys look at my nails like it's been like rough just kidding i mean in comparison as in rough as in my nail polish obviously um they would really last longer than theirs but i think this week i've been like okay i'm gonna because we're cool here we're friends i cooked quite a bit this week in comparison to what i usually do honestly and when i do prepare something it's like they're easy but um i had made like in tomatadas which is like another type of enchiladas and um like what is that <laughs> oh yeah um quesadillas but i made the dough like the, um the corn like tortilla and stuff and like so i was like really going to town and then i was doing a lot of laundry this week more than i usually do i do like two times a week well two times a week as far as our clothes like my husband's clothes and um my clothes or like everyday clothes two times a week and then i do my babies like three times probably two to three times it just depends but for some reason i was doing it like i think it's because i was doing it in pieces so i did it like quite a few times i don't remember like like in different days you know what i mean i don't know if that makes sense like i, I was just like all over the place this past week and um which when this will be up i'm talking about like the week before um it's just been bananas and then today we went out out and about and um so i'm recording this on a sunday and we were out and about it was freaking it is freaking hot but it was it was fun i enjoyed it um we would have been out longer if it wasn't for the heat but my baby was like his little cheeks were red and everything so yeah anyway where was i going with this i don't know i'm just telling you i don't know i lost my like point to this oh yeah my nails okay um yeah so they haven't lasted because um you know anyway I, i'm really thinking of like going to get them done for my birthday because <laughs> because my birthday i already mentioned is next tuesday um like yeah the end of may and um so yeah i don't know anyway i found this book <laughs> um that looked interesting to me and i'm really into reading again um i always loved it but i stopped and i just i'm enjoying so much um reading and this one is today will be different it says Outrage uh, outrageously funny new york times it's a national bestseller um 100 notable books the new york times book review um it says should i read the back 
been or flood uh, knows that she's a mess, but today she will tackle little things, the little things. She will shower and get dressed, and she will play with her son, Timby, Timby, T-I-M-B-Y. She will, in, she will initiate private time, I'm going to say that, with her husband, Joe, but then life happens and Eleanor's modest plan gets derailed. Today, it turns out, it is the day Timby, type by Tim by I don't know, has decided to play sick to weasel his in his way into his mother's company. It's also the day Eleanor discovers that Joe's been telling his receptionist and not his wife that he's on vacation. When an encounter with a former colleague produces a relic from the past that threatens to expose a family secret. Sorry, I'm making these faces because I read this at the store, but like I completely forgot. It's been like over a week. I accumulated some stuff so from Dollar Tree. So anyway, I'm like, okay, hold on. Let me just, I'm going to start reading it right now. Uh, what? That was secret. Eleanor comes completely undone with all the heart and mad artistry that made where'd you go oh this is with all i read that like all together um with all the heart and mad artistry that made we'd go oh where do you go where do you go benedict bernadette <laughs> so beloved today will be different is a wildly funny and unflinching exploration of motherhood middle age faith and the risk of facing up to our former facing up to our former selves so we can truly begin living and then so i read this part i read this part and then um it just says hillersley heartwarming entertainment weekly deliciously mucky ma'am um san francisco chronicle both hilarious and moving npr's fresh air Another tour de force, New York Times book review. And then it says, look for. So if I see these at the Dollar Tree, you bet I'm going to snatch them up. Yeah, I was like, ooh, I felt like I was reading it for the first time. Oh, look, it's just nothing short of a masterpiece, Boston Globe. Okay. Well, I'm excited. I love, like, the books, like, I just love having the actual book, you know? I don't know. Um, speaking of, I told you guys in the other haul about the book that I'm reading right now that I also showed you guys in a past haul. I'm more than halfway through it. It's like, I feel like I'm, it's like watching a Netflix series, but in a book. Um, yeah, it's good. It's, like I said, it's sassy or like, scandalous and um um spicy vocabulary uh, i was like oh my goodness <laughs> um but it's it's a good read because it's like you're watching like literally it's like a netflix series on a book pretty much um it grabs your attention you're like hooked like you're hooked just like you would in a show like you're like watching like binge watching your shows it's like that anyway You guys, I've been looking. I've been looking, searching for those hand sanitizers that are like the dupes for the, I don't even know the name of the original or like the whatever popular one of the hand sanitizer that you like spray and it's like flat or something. <laughs> They're by Be Pure from the Dollar Tree and I have no luck. I have not, I don't think my Dollar Tree is going to carry them. Um, so what I did find and I grabbed, which I thought is expensive for $1.25, but I grabbed it anyway, is this hand sanitizer. It is also by Be Pure. So the same brand just looks different. It's also a spray, which it is still cute. So, oh my gosh, sorry. That was so loud. <clears throat> Let me start over. So... Um, this is the coconut scented. I have not, it's, it has like a seal to it. So I haven't tried it yet unless they opened it. Oh my gosh, is it open? I'm going to be so mad at myself for not checking. It seems full, but yeah, let me spray it. 
Oh, snap. I sprayed it right, right in my face. It's, it smells like coconut, like sweet, sweet coconut. Coconut, coconut. That's a good word. Like a trigger word for the, you know, yeah. Uh, guys, my face is itchy. Oh my gosh. I'm a little too comfortable, I guess, with you guys. Sorry. It's just like when I get like, when it's hot and I've sweated a little, like I get itchy. I think I was just talking to my mom about this. I think I have like some kind of reaction, like, like allergic reaction to my like sweat, TMI. But my face gets like really red and I just want to scratch so bad and it gets like my eyes here like get like under my eyes get so red i look like i'm like gonna puff up and like just i get tomato red it's crazy it's like anyway i'm always like rambling about other stuff it smells really good actually so i didn't think it was gonna have that strong of a smell too i was just like whoa i can still smell it like it's still lingering and it smells like coconut with vanilla something like that so i got this one they had the another one i forgot what color it was but i just saw two colors i saw the blue one and i think i oh i think it was the lavender lavender scented but i grabbed this one so and i don't think they had a top because mine didn't and unless it did and i'd pay attention which is fine um but yeah i grabbed this one so i'm gonna throw this in my purse okay next i have some cards i have some father day cards it's okay my dad doesn't watch my videos um he knows that i make um content but he doesn't um so i got this for my dad this is gonna be from me um this one's gonna be from to my dad from my husband <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna edit that. I might, depending on how hilarious I look. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll just say that again. This one's gonna be for my dad from my husband. And then uh, this one is gonna be from my mom to her husband, my dad. And then this one is going to be for my husband from us, mainly from our little one, obviously, because of what it says. It's so cute. Um, and then I have other cards. But those were for my sister. Um, so she has them already. Or I don't know. I just put them for her. I don't know if she has them. Anyway, so I got that. I was like, i need to get this done so i was like i'm gonna grab the cards and stuff so i don't have to worry about that and just focus on like the gifts um, okay and then i need to put this a uh, refill on my car essentials bag so i got this because i ran out and then you guys okay i don't know if i'm probably the only one that has never either i've never paid attention or really genuinely have not seen them i can't i don't know if it could be one of those honestly because sometimes i don't pay attention for whatever reason but i freaked out because i found these and i we had just finished one bottle of, it was actually these are the 12 ounce and we had the 14 ounce that we got at our gross grocery, like our local grocery, which is our HEB here in Texas. And it was like three bucks, over three bucks or something like that, I remember. And honestly, like when I saw these, I was like, what the heck? They had several bottles, not like super full. Your girl grabbed three. I'm only going to show you two because I already put the other one in the restroom because we literally we ran out there is no more soap so i was like we i we need to use soap um so i got three and they're all the same scent which i don't mind they smell fine even if it wasn't my favorite scent i was gonna get them anyway but it smells it was <laughs> it smells nice um and so i grabbed them 
um because i know that these retail for at least three bucks maybe yeah like three bucks at least um at least where i'm at and so i was just like i need to grab this um and if i i compared the bottle like the 14 ounce to this one honestly it looks almost identical like i was like what the heck the only difference is that the 14 is a little bit wider like it's just two ounce difference well i mean you know i mean two ounces is two ounces but what i mean is like it was just a little a little bit wider um so i was like okay like honestly i could have if i hadn't read i would have told what is the matter if i hadn't read the ounces i would have thought it was the same amount anyhow i can't even talk but um yeah it's um it's dye free uh, no parabens not tested on animals and it's vegan apparently I, I didn't even um i didn't know it was vegan anyway um yeah so i grabbed three of these and i was super excited i found them i i had never seen them before so i don't know maybe they have been here and there but I, yeah so i was really happy about that i'm just gonna put them here and then I found yet another book. This one I had been eyeing for a while. And when I was going to get this one, I ended up grabbing the other one, the one I just showed you guys. But they, they always had like three to four copies every time I went. And this time, this was the last trip I, I made, which was like two trips. Um, this was the last copy. So I was like, and there was a lady there looking around, like looking at the books, checking them out. And um, I was like, just next to her. And I was like, just grab it. She wasn't looking at it or anything like that. She was looking at stuff next to me. But it was obvious that I went directly to that book, which caught her attention. And that's when I felt bad because I was like, there's no more copies. But she wasn't looking at it to begin with. Again, I think it was just because I was like, I'm, I'm taking this um <laughs> um so I, I don't know maybe she was just i mean it was obvious that i knew what i was going for um and then i was like oh there's no more oops um but yeah she was looking at other books like i think it was like fiction because i did look through to that side a little bit it was more like science fiction type of books and stuff so i don't know anyway <laughs> I grabbed this book and it's called What's Mine and What's Mine and Yours by Naima Naima Coaster. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, I'm like, what? I'm confused. Okay, so this one is I read the I don't know if you guys want to hear this. This might be really long. I'm going to read it anyway. Okay, sorry. You can skip over if this is, like, boring. Um, a community in Pied Piedmont of North Carolina rises in outrage as a country, as a, as a county initiative, uh, initiative draws students from the largely black east side of town into predominantly white high schools on the west. For two students, G and no Noel, the integration sets off a chain of events that will tie their two families together in unexpected ways over the next 20 years. On one side of the integration debate, Jade is Jade G. Steely ambitious mother in the after in the aftermath of a harrowing loss she is determined to give her son the tools he'll need to survive in america as a sensitive anxious young black man on the other side noel's headstrong mother lacy may a white woman who refuses to see her have latina daughters as anything but white she strives to protect them as she couldn't protect herself from the influence of their charming but unreliable father, Robbie. When G and Noel join the school play, meant to bridge the divide between new and old students, um, their paths collide and their two seemingly disconnected families began to form deeply knotted, messy ties that will shape the trajectory of their adult lives and their mothers each determined to see her 
see her child inherit a better life will make choices that will haunt them for decades to come. Jeez, okay. As love is built and lost, and the past never too far behind, what's mine and yours is an is an expensive expansive oh wait, not expensive expansive vibrant tapestry that moves between the years from the foot from the foot oh, oh my gosh i can't read from the foothills of north carolina to atlanta los angeles and paris it explores the unique or organism that is every family what breaks them apart and how they come back together sorry for my uh funny reading um yeah so this is a it says i was completely seduced by the honesty of coaster's prose the tenderness she has for her characters to say she pulls off something special here is massive is a massive understatement a new york times a rich, emotionally complex story about family and identity. What's mine and yours is both intimate and sweeping. I love this novel. From the New York Times bestselling author um, of Orphan Train and the Exiles. So it has a bunch of good like reviews. And um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so loud. Anyway, yeah, I'm very, like, excited to read. I'm trying to decide if I should read this one before the other. I think I am. I'm going to finish the book, obviously, that I'm reading. I'm going to read this one because I think I'm mostly, most, uh, mostly, mo mostly, most? That doesn't make sense. I'm mostly excited to read this one. Most? <laughs> okay. okay. You know what I mean than the other one i mean so i want to read this one first just i make myself like so complicated just to tell you that i want to read this one before anyway and then i got some good old batteries again we have no double a we still have triple a so we're good on that and then last bag i got this little tumbler I couldn't help myself, you guys. I see tumblers and I, I really just want to grab one. I love tumblers. I don't know why or what. I just do. And I grabbed this one. It's so cute. It says summer vibes and I love the color. And then when I was checking out, the lady was like, oh, I know. These are so nice. They're, I love that they changed color. And I was like, what? They do? I was like, oh my gosh, it's cool. It says add ice cold beverage to change colors so it says mint to green isn't that cool they change colors they had like a pink one or purple they had like a couple other colors and this was the last one from this color and i just like grabbed it because i really liked it did i say what it said summer vibes so yeah, it changes color. How cool. Okay. Um, and the last couple things for real are more batteries. Oh, I'd never seen this brand. So I decided to try it out because I was like, what if it lasts a little bit longer than the um, E-Circuit? This. So I dropped this ones. These ones. Ever, ever ready. Super heavy duty. So, I'm assuming they're probably okay, like pretty good, since they only come in a four pack. Because the blue ones come in like, I don't know, like eight pack or six pack or something. And they don't last as long. So, I think the less the pack has, the better they work. Um, I don't know. That's just, yeah. Anyway, and then I got some bubbles for my little one. These are non toxic. Um, because they have the big old bottle, like the big, the big bottle ones, and um, they don't say non-toxic. They just say like the regular bubbles. So I'm just waiting for them to be like, um, what? I don't know what I was trying to say. 
I don't know. But yes, I read that these are non-toxic. No dyes and non-toxic. So, and of course it's a little bottle, but that's fine because I can always buy more. This is for the little um, bubble machine thing, like the pressing it has. He got it for, um, what is it called? Easter? And it has a bunny on it and then like you press it. It's like a little, it looks kind of like a water hose. <laughs> type of thing um and the bubbles come out and so yeah i got more bubbles because actually he likes it um, and then i found this little bucket oh elmo we don't really watch well we do watch sesame street sometimes there's some there's some that he loves the songs like the the special with usher where he's seeing the abcs like that's his jam okay but right now he's like all about coca melon and the super wings those are our oh and dora he's starting to like dora and um diego but he does he does know who elmo is and oh my gosh he's turning again to mickey um i'm so excited because i got him some mickey like sippy cups and like a tumblers and so he's like recognizing him which i'm like yes okay so i got him this so he can play outside and it comes with a little shovel they had the red i had red ones and the blue ones and they have another ones that they, they don't have like a little character it's just a color with like glittery they had a yellow one and a red one i was gonna grab the red one but then i saw this one and so i went for this one and so i got that i just thought it was really cute um so yeah you can play with it throw sand in there rocks water whatever um yeah it's so funny because he was actually playing with the bucket earlier um, like just pushing it around it is so cute anyhow okay <laughs> this is gonna be a long video i think it's mostly because of my reading anyway um okay so that is it thank you so much for hanging out i will see you soon we'll talk soon okay thank you for watching bye